and welcome to monthly news number 33. We are here at the VDMA building in Eindhoven having the Dutch Islamic exhibition and we've been working the past month really hard to make this happen and I would say let's go see what Charles is up to. Hey Charlotte, what are you doing? I'm here. Are you talking to me? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just uh, just watching some old monthly news. Let's do it. Okay. So, should I show you around the, the exhibition? Yeah, sure. Okay, cool. Let's go. Yeah, the, the light settings must be crazy, right? So it's like one shot from like, yeah, let's go. Then we walk here and then, and then you start filming. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, Okay. So we have our five workspaces here. We have the collection, the shredder, injection, extruder, and the sheet press. And all of these workspaces are going to be properly documented online when we release V4. Which will be announced at the end of the video. And now we're going to show you some of our community products, which we're showing this year. Here are some of our lovely guys. Would you like a tour or what? A tour? Okay. No, I'm fine, sure. thanks. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so these are products that have come from all over from our community. So we have this lovely toolbox from Shred and Mold. This cool chair by Sam Sara. And this awesome table by Van Plastic. As well as contributions from the community, we also have some awesome products from our V4 designers, including a pink bubblegum bench. Let's go ask some people to see what they think about that. So what do you think of our pink bubblegum bench made by our V4 extruder? I love the color. Really cool. <laughs> the pink bubblegum bench. <laughs> it's bubblegum-esque, really. I, I like the colors very much, especially like this little detail. It's really cool. It's like that you have a cow on the ground. I think you can sit very well. Yeah. Is this actual bubblegum? It's very durfed too. It's plastic, right? Yeah. But it does look cool though. I think I probably like to chew it. Chew it? <laughs> <laughs> but I do love it though. Thank you. Perfect. All right. But all of our Vipro products are going to be released later on this year alongside version 4. Let's carry on with the exhibition. Here we have our new sheet press, which makes super nice sheets. And here we have some awesome bricks that we made a wall from. Some sick samples. And now we're going to look at some of our research projects, which are slightly different to the normal plastic stuff that we do. Here we have our robotics project, which is looking at ways to sort and categorise plastic. So you put it in the plastic bottle, one arm reads it, and puts it back in its plastic type box. Epic! <laughs> And here we have Beyond Plastic, which looks at alternatives to plastic materials. Stuff like coffee peel, eggshell, orange peel. And then we have a common label, which looks at upcycling and recycling old clothes that would have gone to landfill. A bit more of that later. And the kitchen's also working super hard as well. Hey guys. Hello. Oh my goodness. What are you, what are you cooking? Uh, Spanish paella. Here's the chef. The chef's right there! <laughs> what do you prefer? Bread or beer? Bread. No. Whoa! Bread. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you? Bread. Hmm, <laughs> well done. <laughs> cool. Do you want a tour? <laughs> sure, let's do a tour. Hello. Hello, welcome. Okay, so this is Adrian. He's a really cool guy and his mother loves when he's in the videos. Even though we already made a tour for you, we can do one more quick recap. Let's go. Welcome to the Press Plastic Exhibition. So come, come. This should be fast. Here is all the information of how we live, our photos. You can see them on there. So let's start with the collection. Collection point, you drop here the plastic. Then you have to come here. Then we shred the plastic and make the little plastic little thingies. Then you come here, you start with the machines. Yeah, we can continue. Go, 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 we have no time. No time, no time. So this is the product from the worldwide community, are cool, super cool, super cool. 
So these are the V4 products, are super cool products, super well done. You can use them, are made for use, are made for use. You can sit there, look, look, strong, it's strong. This is the dome, the dome, it's cool, look. Hey, you can go in. <laughs> the wall, the wall, now it's really cool to make walls now, you know, Mexico, in Spain we have a kind of a wall too, are super cool, super useful this product. Yeah, okay, the robot, the robot, yeah. It's like the baby of the family. <laughs> we take care of it. It's super sensible. Look how the people play with him. This is beyond plastic, it's from Janis. It's just mainly disgusting things pressing into molds. And you can eat from that disgusting things. Yeah, the common level, yeah, the people just sewing and fixing their clothes. It's cool, it's super cool. Um, yeah, I think that, ah, the last point, the last point. And last but not least, <laughs> the money, the money. We need money, money. We cannot, come, come, come. The people think that we can eat chocolate always, that we can just survive eating chocolate and we need money for another food. We need a roof too. Thank you, that's Thank the you. tour. Thank you. Another fun thing about this Dutch Time exhibition is that we have a lot of visitors here and especially a lot of visitors from uh, our global community. And Mattia can uh, talk to you more about that. Thanks, Philip. Uh, today I'm here with uh, Bob, all the way from Chiang Mai, Thailand. Um, we've been following your work for many, many years. I remember when you were starting like three or four years ago and you know, making tiles, making uh, bigger plates. And we keep following your work because it's absolutely incredible and inspiration for us here in the headquarters, but also for people all, all around the world. And um, in, we invited you here to come to Dutch Design Week now to see all we've done here. And it's an, it's an absolute pleasure for me today to ask you a few questions on how you do things in Chiang Mai. So I would like to start by asking you, how do you run your project in Chiang Mai and uh, how many people is involved and what kind of machines you have there and what's your daily routine uh, in Thailand? I injection and, um, and when did you start and, and how did it all come together? ครับก็เราเริ่มทําในปีผ่านผ่านจากยูทูบนะครับแล้วก็ได้เอามาเอาข้อมูลมาศึกษาและพัฒนาอยู่ประมาณปีนึงครับซึ่งว่าในระยะ
เป็นงานติดผนังนะครับทำเป็น installation art ติดผนังครับก็จะทำให้ตึก energy นะครับในกรุงเทพแล้วก็คาเฟ่อเมซอนที่กำลังจะทำต่อไปเรื่อยๆนะฮะแล้วก็ในต่างประเทศที่ผ่านมาก็จะมีที่สิงคโปร์นะครับที่ทำเป็นเป็นพาเลียนทางเข้างานคอนเสิร์ตครับครับผม And we also seen a lot of people starting to copy your very unique style. So I wonder how do you feel about that? ก็อันดับแรกก็แปลว่างานเราดีคนเลยอยากทำตามอันดับที่สองผมก็คิดว่ามันน่าจะมันก็น่าจะให้เขาพัฒนาไปในทางทิศทางของเขาครับมันก็จะได้เกิดสิ่งใหม่ๆขึ้นมาส่วนอันดับที่สามเนี่ยผมก็คิดว่ามันก็เป็นสิ่งที่ดีแหละที่ว่าจะช่วยกันลดขยะพลาสติกครับผม All right, and a very basic question: Why do you work with precious plastic? ครับก็อยากให้เห็นคุณค่าของพลาสติกนะครับว่ามันมีคุณค่ามากกว่าที่จะมาเป็นขยะหรือว่าเป็นของใช้แค่ครั้งเดียวเราสามารถที่จะเอาพลาสติกเนี่ยมาพัฒนาต่อเป็นงานศิลปะหรืองานอะไรก็ได้ให้อยากให้เห็นคุณค่าของมันมากกว่าพลาสติกนะครับครับผม So I've heard the great news that you and your wife are going to have a baby in 2020, which is incredible. And what other future plans do you have at Bob for 2020? ครับก็สําหรับปีหน้าก็แผนไว้ว่าเราจะขยายสตูดิโอนะครับทำที่ใหม่เพื่อจะรองรับคนที่สนใจในในการรีไซเคิลพลาสติกเข้ามาหานะครับเพิ่มเพิ่มเพิ่มพื้นที่แล้วก็ก็แผนไว้ว่าจะอยากจะได้เครื่องอะไรใหม่ๆไปแปลสนาต่อครับผมซึ่งผมเห็นแล้วในในในในที่ไอโอเฟน All right, that sounds amazing. I can't wait to see what you guys gonna come up with in in the next year. Thank you very much for coming here. It's such a pleasure to meet you finally. Hi, this month's Bobe will give away for a lucky person, so I'll be shoot now. Okay, this was faked, but here's how we did it. We just put all the names into this randomizer and we picked a name. And this month's winner is Olaf Heinen, and we will contact you to give away the plate and two cups from Bob Studio. Cool. So as you can see here, we have a lot of new stuff going on. But even though everything is ready in this space, we still need to document a lot before we can release the version 4. And the release date will be the 7th of January next year. So stay tuned for the release of the Precious Plastic Universe. Yeah, the sound is that's what I worked on the whole year. Okay. <laughs>